lately um, a friend of the family called and um, we were just kicking it and having a lot of fun on the phone because we hadn't talked in a long time and a lot of the stuff I was saying she was going amen um, and she was saying um, you know different little church sayings um, she finally said something as I was getting ready to hang up because I know we had been on the phone long enough <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if she said that her sister I don't know if this is what made me come out and say what I said but I'll just say what I said I told, you know we both grew up in church and I said girl to be honest with you, all the stuff we learned in our childhood and stuff, I ain't really buying it no more. She was like, what? And I was saying that, um, I'm finding out that our ancestors basically accepted Christianity at the end of a whip. And uh, good Christians lynched my ancestors. And while they be in church singing, um, nearer my God to thee, they'll peek out the window to see if that nigga did yet. Whew. And it's more than a notion telling how you really feel because I normally meet with... Uh, you know how people feel about their Christianity. So, I was so surprised to hear her say, I feel the same way. <laughs> and she started telling me stuff that I didn't know. Um, you know, just starting off with stuff I do know, like she was saying, yeah. The ancestors knew how to survive. She said, they'll say, yeah, I'll accept your Christianity if you ain't going to hit me another lick. Or, yeah, I'll accept Christianity um, if I get a day off work to do it. And I was laughing. I'm going, yeah, and I'll make this service extra long. So I think that's some of the reason today why our services are so much longer than... Um, the Caucasoid, Caucasian, and um, she was saying that they would find a way to kind of uh, keep it real, you know, to mix in their Christianity, the Western Christianity, along with African Christianity. And I know that to be true. I know that, um, hmm. Um, Catholicism, I think Santeria, that religion, that African religion, Santeria, um, go, fits in real well with, with, with Catholicism. Also, um, I'm also thinking that, well, I'm not thinking it, Catholic, the Catholic religion is in charge of the Baptist religion. The Baptists have taken on, and not a lot of a lot of people don't know this, but a lot of the Baptist religion has taken on a lot of um, Catholic traditions, uh, Catholic um, oh, whatever you want to call it. I'm I'm not I'm not well versed in the correct names to say. But anyway, if you're Baptist, you're Catholic. Put it that way. Whew. This stuff is so deep. You know, I know it seems like I'm making a big deal out of everything. But I thought I was led to be in the ministry. And that's how I started learning. I was like, well, I'm not teaching nobody no lies. And so that's when I started learning all about Christianity. I knew something about it what just wasn't right. So I started learning more, more and more. And um, 
the first time I heard anything about this was with Dr. John Henry Clark. I loved that man. I got acquainted with him while I was caring for my sister. And, you know, I didn't turn him on on purpose. You know how you have the computer on and then automatically the next videos come up. And um, he came up and I was busy mopping. And so I wouldn't stop. And I did get a chance to look at him. And he looked like some of my dear old uncles that I love so bad. So I let him, and you know, he talked like them. He talked, I um, guess, Southern. I haven't heard him, you know, in a, but I can't listen to him too much because he speaks so passionate. And um, I, I used to binge listen to him until he got to the part about, because uh, I thought I was a diehard Christian. And he got to the part about, um, why is it that you get so dewy-eyed over some religion that some white man gave you, so took your religion from you, laughed at your God, took it away from you, and sold it back to you after he didn't shaped it the way he wanted it to be? I go, what? I ain't listen to him no more. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lies he tell. I wouldn't listen to Dr. Clark anymore for two years. But he had planted the seed. And um, upon more investigation, and then I even did a minister's hair who everybody in the house respect. Uh, I'll just put it that way. And she told me in an over-the-shoulder way, you do know that Christianity is the new kid on the block. 